I'm gonna create the freedom for humanity from you! Hello everyone, welcome back to Half-Life 2, the cinematic mod. Where the struggle to survive is very real. Believe me. That is what I've been doing this entire time. The struggle for both of us is real. Ah, here's my real friend. My only true friend in this miserable world of ours. We'll get out of this alive, Sammy. Don't you worry about it. You're not gonna leave me, are you? Even if the game tries to. Seriously, what is up with that? Okay, let's just get that out of here. Oh, thanks. Thanks, my man. Probably didn't need it because I've got all these right here, but you know what? That works too. Watch out, man. Oh, crap. Get out. Okay, here we go. What the? Oh, right. Oh, whoops. Great. More combine. Are you combine? Yep. Can't tell sometimes. It's a little ambiguous. Great, there's that walker again. Got it. I'll just go ahead and take care of him for you, is that okay? I'm sure you want it anyway. Oh crap. Sam, where are you? I'm not leaving you behind. No matter what. In hell or high water, Sammy, you're coming with me. Ah. That's the good stuff right there. That's what I'm talking about. You're not leaving without me. Yeah, I guess not. Miss what's her name? Sure. You can come. However, you better not get in the way of me and Sam here. Like this guy's trying to. Got it. Crud. Oh. Ouch. I thought that was a combine soldier. Nope, it was her. Damn it. That was not a combine soldier who died. I'll have to kill the walker. Myself. Kill it! I'm crying out loud, Mr. Rocket. Would you? Be a little more, a little less incompetent. A little less completely incompetent, would you please? <laughs> I love how it makes that sound a little lower each time. It's like a horn. Oh, oh! Oh crap! Here you go. Sing this tune, why don't you? The tune of death. Siren call of frickin' death, baby. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's still alive? No, it's just another one, isn't it? This never ends, does it? Where the hell is it? There it is. Found it. Take this. Darn it. A rocket gets so confused whenever you turn it slightly. There we go. Okay, that was three, I need two more. Freaking hell. Thank you for telling me that, suit. Thanks. I think. I'm sure you'll be a great help. <sighs> Lovely, you're dead. This is why you guys really need to quit following me. Lovely! Now I'm almost dead. Great. Yep. <laughs> I should have known. I should have freaking known. I was down to two hit points, so obviously anything was going to kill me at this freaking point. 
Good lord. Just shut up, man. You're not helping. You're not helping at all. All you're doing is de being a detriment to everyone, including this mission. So, could you please get out of everyone's way? That would be so lovely. Good freak. Ah! Damn it all. Damn it all right now. You know what? Hang tight real quick. Okay, I'm back. Thankfully, I managed to kill it. Get my health back up. And now I might actually stand a chance here. Who knew? Oh wait, that guy's on my side. What the hell? Well, where the where the combine at? Where are they firing from? I can't even tell. Where are those bastards? Apparently I've got two people following me now. Oh. There's someone with a rocket launcher. Is that Barney? No. It's just some lady. Who I still don't know. Oh. Well, there you are. Way to go, Sam. You're really carrying this team. And I mean that. You're the only one actually competent enough to actually be able to help. <laughs> That's because you actually do what you're supposed to. Oh. I see. And by that, I mean even... I'm including myself, of course. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. I don't even know where the right way is. It's all just one big blur to me. Very unfortunate. Frick. You gotta be kidding me. With this bull. Yeah, I screwed up, didn't I? My bad. My bad, everybody. I don't know what I'm doing. Do I ever? <laughs> no. There's gotta be some way out of here. Probably that way. The game seems to be wanting me to go this way, so, uh... Good sporting guess, right? Darn. Darn. Darn it. Probably this way. Although the, de the, de the debris can let you go anywhere. Well, not anywhere, literally, but... There's, there are a lot of different pathways that you can take, so it becomes difficult to ascertain which which one exactly you're supposed to go down. You know what I'm saying? You picking up what I'm laying down? Excuse me. Be quiet. I understand you're trying to help, and believe me, I appreciate your attempt. But it would be a lot better if we could actually figure out where we're supposed to go. Really? Really? That was just random. It's like I just randomly fell for no reason. No, it wasn't random. I just fell. My brain fell out for no reason. Okay. Be careful. Indeed. Unfortunately, I'm in no position to defend myself, so... If you could cover me for once, that'd be great. Oh, the combine are over there, aren't they? What the hell? I don't see them anywhere. Oh, are they over there? Where the hell are they? Could you point me in the right direction, please? Screw this. I'm jumping. At least I'm not such a sitting duck. How's it going, friend? New friends that will last two seconds? What the? Dog! Nice! Whoa! Another real friend! Here, dog, let me help! I'm a good Freeman! Ah, crud. There we go. Yeah, she probably ran off in that direction. Wouldn't surprise me. I figured Alex wouldn't want him getting any deeper in trouble, but hell, 
you try stopping him. I know. He's a little hellraiser, ain't he? Good dog. Hey, dog. <laughs> He'll try. Really think it's gonna stop him? I'll be damned. I think he wants you to go through, Gordon. Okay. Thanks, dog. Thanks, my dog. <laughs> okay, sure. I'm not. I think that was supposed to have been blocked out by the 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 smashing sound, but I heard it very clearly. <laughs> I'll give him a big f you just for you, okay, pal? Oh, well, I was talking so much that it actually went through the loading screen, and I didn't have to stop talking. Wonderful. Whoa, what the hell? Uh, Sam, I don't believe we're in a hospitable environment. Should probably, uh, consider this. Consider our options here. Oh. Just jump. <laughs> That's not so bad. This is a hospitable environment. What was I saying? If you know where to land... Ouch. Shut up. I'm about to major fracture your face in a second. And that is the gospel truth. What the? I'm supposed to land on that pipe round down there? Nope. That was not the goal, was it? If it was the goal, I screwed up majorly. Nope. <laughs> I think I'm... I think I've definitively determined that that is not the way I'm supposed to go. Probably this way. You know, the much more obvious looking area. <laughs> of course me, I had to go I had to do things the hard way, don't I? Always. What the hell? Oh, cool. Very nice. This is just getting weird and confusing. Oh, look at that. Oh, right. This is uh this is the part where I have to uh do that, isn't it? I remember. I remember playing both Half-Life 2 and the two episodes back in, well, uh, years ago. And uh, I do remember that you have to stuff yourself into one of the pods. I'm guessing that's going to come up soon, isn't it? That's the only way you're allowed through. You have to stuff yourself into one of the pods, don't you? Sorry. Sorry, Sam. This is where we must part ways. Forgive me, friend. There's not room enough for both of us, unfortunately. This is where we must depart. The best friend I'll ever have in this game is now gone. Oh yeah, that fills me with confidence, doesn't it? Thankfully, no, it didn't work. What do you know, Sam? We get to be together a little while longer. Isn't that nice? Wait, was there something special I was supposed to do there? I'm not sure what it expected me to do. What are you supposed to do for that? What exactly do you do to get past that barrier? Oh. You just walk past it. Fair enough. No, that's not gonna work. I don't remember what you're supposed to do. It's just a bunch of dead ends. You're supposed to do something, I know that. But what is another question? Darn. What the hell do I do? Well, I'll have to figure it out. It's been a while. Hang tight real quick. Wait, now I think I understand. You have to go through this one. And it takes you that way. It takes you away from the barrier, Friar. Bye, Sam. It was nice knowing you. Man, this is very unfortunate. 
And once again, I am separated from the best friend I will ever have in this game. So sad, isn't it? It's better this way. Sam is free. Sam must pursue his own interests now. That probably include chopping things up. I hope he chops up a few combined zombies just for me. This is quite a huge place, isn't it? Now that I'm actually looking. And of course it looks even better with the cinematic mod on, doesn't it? I mean, not too much better, mind you, but uh, it's definitely an improvement. It allows you to really get an appreciation for everything, doesn't it? Look at this mass facility. Each one of those could be a person. Another victim of the Combine. Although I don't see any people in there. I see it has chosen to freeze again, which has completely destroyed the mood. Hang tight again. Yet miraculously, Stanley somehow survived this bullcrap. Anyway, like I was going to say before it rudely interrupted me, thankfully most of the pods appear to be empty. However, as you can see, they that's how they make the combine. They basically... It's, it's basically the Borg when you think about it. They're being assimilated. They're being fitted with the assimilation metal that turns them into the combine brainless soldiers and of course the walkers again thankfully they don't seem to recognize me as a threat probably probably because I just handed myself straight to their leader no questions asked so uh, you you wanted to talk about my surrender right well uh, I'm willing to talk about that I'm willing to give myself up, as far as you know. Yeah, look at that. Look at those poor souls right there. So yeah, when you kill the Combine, you're actually killing brainwashed people. It's very unfortunate. You're basically mercy killing them. It's just like the Borg in that regard. There really isn't any saving them. All you can do is put them out of their misery. It's very sad, but that's that's unfortunately this kind of world that they must live in. There's no escaping it. And you get a close-up view of all of it. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is where they... Oh, I thought I'd get sent straight to him. Oh, instead, oh, my favorite part happens. I may have lost Sam, but I'm about to gain something amazing. Yep, this is where it goes insane. Goodbye, crowbar. Goodbye, Magnum. Goodbye, rocket launcher. Goodbye, everything. Except the gravity gun. The gravity gun has been turned into the physics gun from Gary's mod. What the? I just shorted out the system. And thanks to this, the gravity gun has become extremely powerful. Now I can just zap them. I have become... I have reached a higher plane of existence. Oh, this is Dr. Freeman. At last. I wish I could say this was a pleasant surprise, but it's neither a surprise nor, as you will surely agree, very pleasant. Well, I am nothing if not pragmatic. You gonna talk? Fine. I guess we don't want to talk anymore. Be that way. I'll just destroy all of your forces right here and now. But like I said, they're unfortunate victims. What I'm doing is, is a mercy in the grand scheme of things. You doubt my power! 
You don't know who you're messing with! I am no longer Gordon Freeman! I am something much greater! I am a higher being! Bow, mortal! Before the superior power! Well, Dr. Freeman, under other circumstances, I'd like to think we might have been able to work together in an atmosphere of mutual trust and respect. Certainly judging from your brief tenure at Black Mesa while I was its administrator, you showed every promise of becoming a valuable and productive contributor to the scientific process. And yet, I'm not sure what spurred you to it. But there is really no place in this enterprise for a rogue physicist. You know, I would be willing to work with you if you didn't start right off the bat trying to kill me. You did this to yourself, Boyo. And now you're gonna reap the rewards. Your eternal reward! When I get to you, you're gonna share their fate. Don't worry. I'm gonna make it extra painful just for you. With these guys, I feel sorry for them. I'm giving them a quick death. There will be no quick death for you. You! will experience pain, the likes of which you can't comprehend. You know, pain on level of the game freezing. Hang tight again. I'm back. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. Your pain will be immeasurable! Oh, boy. I probably should have fired them straight at them. My bad. Anyway, on to business. It matters not, because now that I'm supercharged, even these suit, even these healers, for some reason, give me a supercharge. It's like everything is conspiring to help me now. Hey, buddy. Moron. Ah, I see. I have to take these out. Nice. Take that, you prick. Now die! How about I just destroy- How about I just rip you apart, huh? Rip you asunder! Like I said, do not worry. I feel sorry for you guys. Your death will be pretty painless. As painless as possible. You're trying- You're making this hard on me, sir! Just- Just hurry up and accept your fate already. Oh, right, that's the one I needed to bring down. My bad. Sorry. Come to me, lost souls, so that I can give you release from all this pain that you are clearly suffering from. You poor withered souls. I believe that is called unfortunate soul. What the? Oh, okay. Yeah, that probably makes more sense, right? This is becoming fun! Huh, that didn't take long at all, did it? I don't think I may- I, I probably don't even need to fast forward that. Just because. Your mentors are partly to blame, of course. My disappointment in Eli Vance and Isaac Kleiner is far greater than my sorrow of your unfortunate choice of career path. In a way, I suppose you could not have done otherwise. Who knows what seeds of iconoclasm they planted when you were young and gullible. But while they certainly share a great part of the responsibility for the recent troubles, it is you alone who have chosen to act with such willful disregard for humanity's future. You have chosen to place yourself as my enemy, so don't expect me to listen to your crap. You chose this, Breen. If you had decided to become more of an ally, if you had just spoken to me, instead of tried to kill me... Of course the game decides to freeze again, because of course it is! Hang tight again! Yep. I think the game knows the end is near, and it's trying to make things as painful as possible. Well, both end for this video and end for this game. Or at least this specifically. Frick, really? Really, man? Really? Oh. Right. I guess I need to 
<laughs> you really think that's gonna stop me, huh? How cute! How, how precious! How pathetic. You really do disappoint me. If that's the best you've got. Right, I should probably press that switch. Moron. You're nothing to me, you got that? Miserable automaton! Miserable robots! Manufactured fools! Piece of metal! Be gone with you! Freaks! Nature! Would you stop it? Put an end to this already! I don't even know where I'm supposed to go here. It's just getting ridiculous. Seriously, I can't- I can't think straight with you! Flashing your bastard camera into my face. Just die already. Accept your fate. You'll be a lot happier that way. Trust me. Little freaks. Come on. Well, come on then. I dare you. I don't even know what's up. Oh, I had to wait for the platform. That explains a lot. Ha! Huh. Take that! Come and get me, you freaks! Ha! Huh. I'm shielded! You can't do crap- oh, you can do crap to me. <laughs> well, that works! Come here! Fatality! I could drag their bodies with me. I wanted to be nice to them. You know, I had pity. I took pity on them. I wanted to give them a fast end, but they don't want to let me. So screw it. You're my. You're gonna be my rag doll. Take this. You just. I'm just gonna have to throw you right into the bug zapper, aren't I? Huh. That's the good stuff right there. No wonder I couldn't figure out where to go. I just had to wait for it to come to me. But at least I understand now. Take that. I'm gonna throw you around like a rag doll. How's that sound? Huh. Or I'll just directly kill you. It matters not! Maybe I could throw them into each other, that'd be great. Take that. How much longer is this going, gonna go on? This is starting to get old. Take this. Get zapped. So that's what they used to make the Emancipation Grill on Portal. Not bad. There. See if I care. Your end. I thought not. I'm gonna create the freedom for humanity from you! Trust me, it's working out very well for me. For us. You know, this is a lot funner. This is way more entertaining. Like I said, I no longer feel sorry for them. Now I just want them to die. There was a time where I pitied them, but that time is long past us. You should have just accepted your fate. 
Instead, it's gonna be a very painful end for you. Because pulling things in doesn't require as much range. For humanity's survival. And not as we have narrowly defined ourselves, but as something greater than we could ever imagine. Something we can now only begin to glimpse. You mean a monster? Screw you! That's what I think your damn superior humanity project. Anyway, unfortunately I'm all out of time, so I'm gonna have to end this here. That is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like Breen's insane ramblings. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.